my name is Chris if you didn't already know and this is my show Smeg Chris and as you saw in the intro things tend to get a little daft around here like having a magic boxing glove pop out of the back of your chair that hurt by the way I mean when clones sneak up behind you when you're trying to have a nap I told him not to do it when? when did you say that? oh wait a minute I thought it I forgot to say it out loud thanks a bunch <laughs> don't you start anyway this week I was actually going to talk about the many things a mobile phone can do these days. Mainly because recently I downloaded a game onto it called Carmageddon and it looks and sounds exactly the same as it did on my old PC. Mobile phones have come so far. But as I said I was going to do an episode about it but it turns out that this paper has beat me to it. Basically they did an article about phones replacing 50 devices. I wasn't going to do 50 but have they got mind reading capabilities in this newsroom? <laughs> yes Percy because I thought of that before I was even a fetus. Even though they talk about 50 devices, I'm not going to list all of them, just some of them. Watch, camera, dictionary, I'm guilty of using that one quite often. Alarm clock, notebook, and so on. Wait a minute, a tape measure and digital weighing scales? Huh? I don't fancy sitting a full suitcase on my phone. Anyway, because they stole my idea, I've come up with a new one. The things that mobile phones can't do. Why do I get the feeling this is going to be absurd? It is real. It may be able to guide you with a sat-nav, at times I should add. They sometimes think turning right into a field is a good idea. But on those rare occasions where it gets it right, it can't drive your car for you. Another thing, it can't walk your dog. It will probably take me to the groomers or the vet. No thank you. A phone cannot hold your drink. I mean you could sit a drink on it, but would you want to risk it? I don't mean because you might spill your drink onto your phone. I simply mean because you might spill your beer. Uh, I mean your drink. Don't want that. A phone can't do accents. I try to type in certain Yorkshire words like A as in ail pet or T as if to say off to town or off to shops but it thinks I'm drunk. I end up turning off that predictive text because of it. A phone doesn't have a bullshit detector. I see how some type of machine still works fine, Percy. It's a good. I certainly saw a thing about it. You put your subtitle machine on the fridge? Are you going to slip it or shall I? That reminds me of another thing a phone can't do, be a fridge or freezer. Can't exactly fit food or drink into it, can you? Which brings up other related items, microwave, toaster or even an oven. Can't do any of those, can it? What about scissors? Can a phone cut through paper? Nope. What about a hammer? It can't replace that. You could try hitting things with it, but I wouldn't recommend it. I could go on forever. He isn't kidding. Can it, Fwed? See, another one. It can't be a can opener. But I'm going to stop there. So that's my list of things that mobile phones can't do. Yet. It will only be a matter of time. However, there's still one thing a mobile phone has yet to master. A long life battery. I'm sure everyone will agree with me on that one. I'm surprised they don't come with those small solar panels. You know, like calculators have done so for decades. Just saying. Mind you, with all the things that a mobile phone can do, no wonder the battery dies quickly. Especially when I'm playing Carmageddon. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and subscribing if you have. Until the next time, peace out. I guess I was wrong. That wasn't so absurd. Don't you mean absurd? Percy, even I thought that one was bad. <laughs> Explaining it makes it worse. Just walk away. <laughs> walk away. <sighs> Phones really have come a long way since they first started out. I remember having that little blue Nokia phone. I don't know if I've still got it somewhere. I doubt it. But I think the only game that I had on it was Snake. You know, it was like this line that you had to go around the screen. I can't actually remember the aim of the game. Hmm. Oh, one more thing mobile phones can't do. Survive being dropped. As you can see, these two got cracked. And this one was dropped in a tin of paint. But that's a story for another time.